Hi there and welcome to Craft Jitsu's How to Embroider a Flower video. Now this is a piece of tea dyed fabric and I'm going to trace this design onto it. Now you'll see that my hoop has masking tape wrapped around it and that's so that the fabric holds better inside it. So we're going to put it into the hoop with the wrong side up. And tighten it up nicely. It should be drum tight so that you can tap your fingers on it and it makes a sound. Now turning it over, put a piece of paper with your design on it on top of a piece of dressmaker's carbon paper and tape the two together and then tape it onto your fabric. With a blunt needle, trace round the design. Now carefully check it's all come through properly. And there's always a bit you miss. Put the fabric in the right way round and you're ready to go. Just tighten it up again and you'll get to see what I mean about being drum tight again in a second. And you can play a little rhythm. Now take two strands of purple stranded cotton. And tie a knot in the end. I know that a lot of people don't like that but it's just the way I've always done it. Now if you snip off this little tail quite close to the knot it'll reduce the chance of any of those little straggly bits coming through to the front. Now we're going to outline one of the petals in backstitch. I don't know why, but it seems to make a much neater edge. Now I'll let you in on a little secret. 
When I was halfway round this petal, I realised I should have started with the yellow section at the front of the flower. So I backstitched round the two other petals to give myself some thinking time, because you make me nervous. So that should explain why there's now a quick change to yellow before I finish doing the purple petals. Now again with two strands of stranded cotton, we're going to backstitch around the little shape at the front. We're going to start to stem stitch or even straight stitch this little yellow section here. Now you can fan out your stitches a little so that they're wider at the top than the bottom and this gives it a more natural look. Now we're back in the right order, we'll go for the petals again now. I'll start with this central one, and again using the same technique as before, I'm going to fan out the stitches from so they're wider at the top than at the bottom. Again it makes it look more natural, and it makes the thread catch the light in a very nice way as well. So I'm going to show you this properly on the first half of the petal, and as you can see I'm going to stem stitch from the very point to the centre of the flower. And as I go back up, I choose a stitch close to the top one, but I don't go back down to the bottom, so that each time I'm creating a fan that the wider at the top than it is at the bottom. And the other half I'll do much more quickly. And carry on the same way with the other petals.
So that's the base coat of the first flower finished. So doing it in the right order this time, we'll do the yellow section first of the next flower. And just as we did before, we backstitch around the petals. And then fill it in. Now you can see here I missed one of the lines so I just drew over it in pencil. Now it's time to start doing the stems and we're going to, strangely enough, use stem stitch but we're going to use one strand of the purple that we used in the flowers and one strand of the green that we're going to use in the leaves.
Next it's time for the buds. It's a little cup shape in green, in stem stitch, just the way that you've been doing the, the actual stem. And the second bud, in the same way. Now for the bud itself, as before we back stitch around in two strands of purple and then fill in the middle. And now for the leaves. You back stitch around the shape and then back up the centre line. Now if you bring the thread up through the very tip of the leaf and then back down into the end of the back stitch that you did and then create a sort of fan shape like you did with the petals and then continue to sew at an angle so that they're like the little veins of the leaf. This technique means that it catches the light really nicely. And do exactly the same with all the other leaves.
We're going to now add some of the twiddly bits that help add the shading to the flowers. So this is a darker purple and just again fan out the stitches so that it's nice and dark at the bottom. I'm going to add a darker yellow to the base of the central yellow section of the flower, just again to add more shadow. And now with one strand I'm just going to use a very pale yellow to go round the central yellow section and to create a little spike at the very end. Thank you for watching the video, if you've enjoyed it please feel free to share it or subscribe to our YouTube channel.